Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Uh, Tuesday the 30th, I'm starting with McBride over 8.5 points, minus 112 on DraftKings. Uh, uh, McDonavich is out, so McBride's going to be getting more minutes, splitting it with Devo, DiVincenzo, and uh, he also, you know, he's Brunson's backup, but he also plays in the backcourt with them. Um, either McBride is going to hit it, Devo is going to hit it, or they're both going to hit it, which I think that's what's going to happen. They're coming home to uh, Madison Square Garden. Coming off a win, they're going to try to close him out. And uh, he's right around this. He's he's averaging right around this. Um, it's uh, every other play is pretty high. Um Josh Hart and uh, his rebounds and Brunson's assists. And there's just a lot of plays too high. I just feel like uh, McBride's good for at least 10 points, 13. So, uh, like I said, you could take his threes if you want, one and a half threes. He's a great three for uh, three-point shooter. I think he's uh, lately he's been 40%. So, uh, yeah, I got McBride over eight and a half points. All right. Play number two. I'm going with Hartenstein over points. Uh, even money, plus 100. They got him at eight and a half right now. I was going to buy it back to seven and a half, but I just looked and they changed it to minus 150. Um, my unit size isn't that big, so minus 150 play is not worth it for me. So if you're betting some type of money, definitely always alt line, buy them back, get them minus 150s, 160s. Uh, better odds, easier to hit, make it a little less, but you're, you're covering it. So, you know, 100 will get you 60. But, uh,. Yeah, so what I might do is wait till up almost until game time to see if this number goes down. But I highly doubt it. What happens is sometimes the game starts, right, and he'll miss a shot. He'll drop it down to eight. I miss another one and drop it down to seven and a half. That's why in the community you'll see me throw plays up because uh, I'm really keen. I'm sharp on that stuff. I... I put it up there. I put on ESPN on my computer the stats and, uh, you know, see what people are shooting and, and this and that. And it's a little easier to pick them that way. But um, you don't always get the right number. They don't always drop it or they'll freeze it until halftime. But, yeah, I'm playing this. Uh, I already played it, actually, eight and a half. Uh, he had a tough game last game. Uh, he's going to come out and uh, actually another play I'm going to play is actually a one unit play right here Hartenstein over eight and a half points I'm going to do a sprinkle on his first quarter points they got it at two and a half see it says added bam two and a half at plus 152 uh, I'm expecting them to come out strong. The way Embiid's been been treating the Knicks and playing dirty, and I know they're gonna they're gonna come out and they're playing in the garden. The crowd's gonna be crazy. There's a couple pick and rolls they play, and uh, I feel like he's gonna get two baskets easy, at least foul and get some foul shots. Might miss one, end up with three points, four points. I'm saying like six points. I feel like. Uh, before he gets in any type of foul trouble, they're going to have him trying to score. Um, they usually do in the beginning anyway. They, they run a couple sets for him. But, uh, 
Yeah, so a sprinkle on that, maybe less than a half unit, and uh, I'm playing his points, eight and a half. Don't go any higher than that. Uh, I'm not saying he won't score it, but uh, eight and a half as high as I'm going. They're probably going to drop it, like I said. All right, Hartenstein of eight and a half, and then uh, also I'm playing Sprinkle on his first quarter over two and a half points. It's a whole lot of talk. All right, play number four. It's really play number three, but uh, I got Josh Hart over four and a half assists minus one eighteen DraftKings. Uh. Yeah, it's all the way up to 140 on FanDuel. Line shop, ladies and gents. Ladies and gents, he got a line shop. Last game, he's got five. Game before, six. Um, This number used to be at five and a half, six. They dropped it down to four and a half. I believe that uh, he might go over with his points. I got burnt with it last time. That's what Josh Hart, he, could, he goes... You know, some games he's scoring 20, 24. Other games he's getting 10 assists. Um, you know, hopefully it's uh, it's gambling for you, though, you know. So, <laughs> hoping that uh, I feel like four and a half assists is not enough. Like he's going to go over this. Even if he's scoring, I feel like four and a half is it's a low number. Uh, I was winning a couple weeks ago, six, seven. But, uh, yeah, so I got Josh Hart with four and a half assists. He's been playing almost the whole game. I did not get five passes where somebody scores. So uh, I feel like this is easy money. It's only it's only low because uh, I think it's only low because he didn't score that much last time. Well, he hasn't hit it all. Hit it the last two games, but not the two games before that. But I think it's because he didn't score that much last game, so they think he's going to come out and try to just score, score, score. But Josh Hart isn't that type of player. You know, hopefully I guess right. And uh, like I said, it's four and a half. It's five passes. And uh, it's going to go over this. It's going to end out with six. Six or seven. All right, Josh Hart over four and a half assists. Go, New York. Go, New York. Go. All right, my next play, going with Dante DiVincenzo. I know what you're thinking. He didn't catch the last two times. Uh, they got the number down to 12 and a half. Like I've been saying they're going home at MSG. Uh it's a rarity, like I said last time. I don't even want to talk about all that stuff because look what happened last time. But uh, 12 and a half is too low for him. He's going to go over this. Um, yeah, so that's basically all I'm going to say. They got that 102, minus 102. Like I said, he's gone under this. That's why the number is so low. It's normally at like 17, 15, 17. But... Uh, you don't feel comfortable playing it, don't play it. I'm playing it. I'm giving my man a chance. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo, over 12 and a half points. Play, going Brunson over two and a half threes. Uh, plus 102 on DraftKings. I got it all the way down to 120. I couldn't see where it's at. But uh, he didn't hit this last game. He's went over the game before. He uh, you could pass on if you want. I, it's it's one of those gut plays. Um, I feel like they're trying to finish the sixes and uh, put the dagger in the demon uh, and bead. And uh, send him packing. Do it at the garden. He's going to be shooting lights out. Well rested. Uh, had a day off. He's going to have his legs under him. And uh, 
think he's going to have a nice shooting night. He's got a lot to prove. Uh, he's carrying the Knicks on his back. I got Brunson over two and a half threes. Plus 102. Uh, look out for, for new plays throughout the night. For the other games, or if I see any live bets in this game, I'm going to drop them in the community. Also, I might pin them in this video. If you could, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Also, uh, maybe try to comment down. I see my video plays. I'm getting like 40, 30, 40, 50 likes. If you guys could just jot a little comment, maybe what state you're from or... What team you got, your name, or what you want to be called, you know. I'm calling it a community, but I feel like I'm talking to myself. Uh, all right. Enjoy your night. Ace Money, the name. Getting paid for the game. <laughs>